Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video, and today we have another episode of the RTG. Today we have an episode of Foot Champs Live. We are going to complete the Yaya Torre Lone Foot Birthday SBC, and even though this squad will probably cost me nearly like 5 6k to complete, uh, I'm going to complete him nonetheless. These are all players from my club. I just had to buy a couple, and I went ahead and uh, just put them into this SBC, got the Yaya Torre Foot Birthday Lone uh, for 5 games, just 5 games. I want to try them out off on uh, Foot Champs right here live for you guys i really need to sneeze which is why i'm like like this the four star three star incredible in game stats a bit low on stamina but uh just a great box box midfielder really excited to go ahead and use him i'm not too sure uh what fifa this is a throwback to but i remember last year i really liked i really loved this card actually um i had his inform uh that i packed in the beginning of the year during black friday and i used his 86 rated inform for the rest of the year in an untradeable premier league team along with i believe it was normal emray chan or inform emray chan and then i went ahead and used used um i believe it was let's go put you right here and then i, I used um play the Mandeli alley the 86 rated one in midfield in a 4-3-2-1 and they always played incredible so hopefully i can get a bit in this I, I can get a bit nostalgic during this video and hopefully we can have a yaya Toure that was as good as last year um in this year's game so yeah we're gonna get into this we have a very solid team to play with right now we still have one million coins in the bank this guy has an insane team um winston reed is probably the weakest link along with wynaldum but apart from that that team is insane dude that front the front three the midfield oh man i'm i'm going to struggle here he has botch white and ronaldinho up top with uh that uh striker sherla throwback card as well the foot birthday one who has incredible incredible stats so let's see what we can do. We're going to put Toure. What's his weak foot? Four star. Okay, so we're going to put Toure on the uh, right and then Fernandinho on the left because they are both four star, three star. We're going to leave the team as it is. And currently in the weekend league, I am, I think I am five and one, which is a very nice start. Not too bad at all. Um, I did lose one game because Marco Van Basten, the prime icon, if you guys haven't tried him, Every the past, I think a uh, couple times that I've gone against him, he's destroyed me. And I know the past two times that I've played with it uh, against him in the weekend league, he scored. I think it was like seven goals on me, so in two games, which is ridiculous. But uh, Hing Ming Son opens the scoring very very early on, gets us one nil up, assist by who was that? Uh, Jesus, I believe it was. But great ball to Hing Ming Son, great finish by him. And yeah, not, not a bad start, you know. Uh, this guy is a fantastic team, so hopefully we can't go ahead and hold him off. Especially that ba that Bacuali and Ronaldinho front line, I feel like it's going to be fantastic. You have the perfect combination of uh, skills, power, and just overall great, great finishers in uh, the top three. Where's Yaya Toure? So we have Yaya right here. Let's see how he feels on the ball. Uh, okay, he doesn't feel that uh, stiff, or he doesn't turn like... A truck he has great dribbling actually Let's see okay that's an awful pass he literally i wanted to pass that to jesus up there but he somehow passed it to william or not somehow but for some reason passed it to william we're gonna play this off to orier or by and then uh we're gonna see what we can do right here so he just opened up right here let's see if we can create some space okay petite somehow knows i'm going to go back which i mean i don't i don't know how he knows but i, I guess he just does See what we can get going here. Oh, there's that space that I wanted. William to Costa, Costa to no one. Okay, that's my fault. That that is definitely my fault. See, okay, so the first thing I noticed with Yaya, he's very not fast. Uh, maybe if I put a shadow card on him, if I actually get his actual version, uh, he would be a great card. But for now, at least. He doesn't feel too quick or agile. Um, a shadow card on him would definitely make him a great player, especially since he does need that defending boost uh, to be very, very good at. Like, I think it's interceptions that he's low at. I think standing tackle and slide tackle are actually decent, but interceptions he's just not very good at. Oh, dude, if Jesus finished that onto the bottom right-hand corner with a low-driven finesse, that would have been a goal. But we are still 1-0 up. We have a corner. We find Jesus. Jesus going to finish it off. No, he's not. Okay. Great block by Kalasinek. I wonder how that Kalasinek card, by the way, is at center back. Let me know if you guys have used them. Let me know what year that's from because I honestly don't recall what year that's from. I, I didn't personally play FIFA when uh, he was a center back. Um, and so I really don't know when that was. 
But let me know when uh, that's from because I'm really interested. You know, I've never seen that card. And that card actually looks pretty decent. Great pace and all that. Not the tallest of players, uh, but for a center back, he's a bit sh on the shorter side. Or, yeah, average, I would, I, I, I would say shorter. Average for me for a center back is like 6'1", 6 6'2". 6 and then 6 foot and under is like a bit short. Um, but, yeah, because center backs go from like 6'2", all the way to like 6'6", six, six, and all that. You know, we have a lot of tall center backs, especially the metal ones like Jerome Boateng, Jonathan Ta, Naldo, all those players. I know they're from the all the, from the Bundesliga, uh, but we have some of those metal ones that are very, very tall. Like Sergio Ramos isn't that tall, but has a great jumping and all that, so it cancels out. But so far, this Yaya Toure hasn't done much. I know he's playing in midfield, um, but so far, my, my I like him. He feels nice on the ball. His pace or his acceleration is a bit not great. You can definitely feel it when you're on the ball. It takes them a while to start going. Um, but right here, we're, we're defending really bad right here. Okay, great interception by Aurier. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Fernandinho, awful touch. He feels very, very similar to Fernandinho, except Fernandinho, I feel like, is a bit more... I, I would... I, I love Fernandinho on this game, so I don't think there's going to be much that makes me not like Fernandinho. So I, I, I don't know. I, I think, like, if you, I had to choose between Fernandinho and Yaya at this moment in time, I would say Fernandinho has been a more influential player. Just because I feel like Yaya's just there. You pass it to him, you pass it to him he passes it, off, passes it off, and he just does his job, you know? But he's not an amazing player. He's not that player that will change you games, win you games from time to time. Yes, he has great finishing for a box. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, Vandersaw, by the way, is garbage. <laughs> like, don't use him. I, I'm just using him because he's an icon, and I have him untradeable, and there's really no point in just not using him. So, I mean, yeah, Vandersaw, just not very good. Garbage. Awful. I was going to make a video on him, but I was like, let me not, and let me just make a video on someone they want to see, like Toure. I could have done uh, Foot Birthday Rudy the lone one but i just decided to do the yaya because i like yaya i've played with yaya a lot not this year but last year so i want to see how he is this year you know it's a bit different uh, but we have will i'm making a run here can't no he can't he runs away from the ball thank you very much for that sherla back at left cdm for some reason we have to cut this play off before he gets it to bachuai okay really cost the please man all right yaya don't let me down he feels a bit. He feels a bit weird on the ball. Not awful, but definitely he doesn't feel great. He feels all right. This is some great passing right here. Rui Costa can no. He cannot finish. Yeah, to our big headers. There we go. Oh, that's a big header win. Okay, that's that's a big win against Petit, especially. That's a big win. I'm very impressed. Fernandinho, great interception. With those 88 interceptions, Fernandinho with an anchor card, which I have on him, is honestly just one of the best Premier League center mids you can get. I hate playing against players like Batshuayi and all those, all these people that have high shooting but have awful everything else. It just pissed me off. Like, I could literally put playing against, I don't know, Ibra, and Ibra would literally bang everything in. He's... Ibra has awful pace, now awful physical, if we're being completely honest. Not the greatest dribbling, he feels like a truck. But Batshuayi just, with his 91 shooting, dude, he just shoots it at the goal. And, yeah, man, I hate playing against people who have players like that because it doesn't take much skill. You just have to shoot it at the goal and make sure you get it on targets. And, yes, you have to create space to do that, but sometimes when the ball bounces to you and you're in open space, you just get lucky. And finish it, we're going to get some speed up lag here. This is always fun. This is like a weekly thing. Every single time we're in the, and we're doing a foot jams live, we we get some speed up lag, which is great. You know, speed up lag is always lovely. I'm trying to create a play right here. Give me a sec. So Rui Costa out to Fernandinho. Okay. He he's literally defending with his whole team. Fernand uh, not Fernandinho. Ronaldinho is literally defending me at right back. That's a goal. That's are you are you how is that? It's honestly such a joke. That is honestly such a freaking joke. He has his whole starting eleven defending, plays one through ball to Ronaldinho, and he goes through and he has now scored three goals in a row. I was up two nil. And this is the second time this has happened today. I was up two nil earlier today before and I lost four two. 
Um, this is a bit of a problem here. The gameplay is literally so. It, it's the gameplay is awful right now too. It feels super sluggish, which is why this is actually my. This I'm recording this right now. Um, after my this is my seventh game, and I'm recording this right now just because I don't want to play anymore. Um, so I just forced myself to play one more game, and then I'm getting off this, going to play Fortnite for the rest of the day, and I have a soccer game in like three hours. So I need to go do that soon. So yeah, we're gonna sub on Gareth Bale for uh, Gabriel Jesus. So we're gonna have Bale and Hyun Ming Son up top. Hopefully Gareth Bale can get us back into this game. I'm not too sure how that's gonna go, but let's see. Great tackle from Gareth Bale. Look at the uh, look at how long it took him to play it to Willian. That's how you know their speed of like I literally turned, and as soon as I turned. You guys should know that I want that ball to be played, and it takes me so long to actually get that pass off. It's, it's so dumb. And there's nothing I can do about it, you know. Normally, uh, I haven't been too fussed with the gameplay at all this, these past two weekends. Actually, the past two weekends have been great gameplay-wise, and I've really enjoyed it. And I think it's something, it had something to do with the patch, because the patch really, ever since the patch came, the last patch... Um, not the latest one, but the one before that, two weeks ago. It changed everything. It changed the gameplay. It made it feel beautiful. It made it feel awesome. And I was genuinely, genuinely starting to enjoy FIFA once again. That's a great goal by Gareth Bale. Never mind. That's not a great goal by Gareth Bale. I, I thought that was going to be a, a, a goal. But apparently, Loris is not having any of it. Gareth Bale. Cool. Cool. Takes it with his right foot. Um, yeah, this is bad. I just... Two opportunities created in the last 30 seconds, and none, none of them went in. Uh, let's see if we can get... That's not... I don't know if you guys saw that. I specifically aimed my body outside to the right-hand side of Winston Reed, so he would play it around that side, and he still ends up playing it the other direction. Hello, Bachua. That's a foul. 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 Great tackle. Great, fantastic tackle. Come on, Gareth. Come on, get us back into this game, buddy. If Del Piero catches up, I swear to God, dude. Del Piero, you have like zero pace. Great tackle by Yaya. But, okay, yeah, it's a great tackle, great aggression, all that great strength, but he just doesn't get the ball. A bit clumsy, you know? That, that's what I've, that, that's what one thing I noticed uh, last year, too, too, and I think it's due to his balance. He's very, very, very clumsy uh, when it comes to certain plays. I should have passed that with A. That, that play is personally my fault. It's not uh, anything. It's not, it's not, that wasn't the game because I tried to pass it in front of him when he clearly just needed to pass directly to him. Uh, so instances like that, I will go ahead and take the blame. You know, I know when, when things are my fault, that's a, this is going to be a goal. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Even I, I feel like even if you would have put that on target, Vandersar wouldn't have saved it. Just because Vandersar is literally a bronze goalkeeper. As good as a bronze goalkeeper. Begovic probably is better than him. Handanovic is probably the best goalkeeper I have used in a while, apart from Farman. Farman was insane when I used him. Uh, I've, obviously, we all know how good Farman is. De David De Gea for me is awful, but for everyone else, just plays like the best keeper in the game by... Head, head and shoulders better than every other keeper in the game. There should be a goal. There we go. Finally, dude. 3-3. Three, three. Son scores the first goal. Son scores the third goal. And we are now back into the game. Gareth Bale with a great assist to Hingling Son. And we are now back into the game, you know. 3-3. Three, three, 67 minutes in, I believe that was. Uh, was it? 67, 68, 69, something like that? Probably 68. It's probably going to be 69 by the time I can finally see the time again. So it's 68 uh, minutes in. There's no one helping Gareth right now. There we go. Going to play Gareth here. Wait for Som to the back post. There we go. There we go. Yaya Toure, 4-3. to three. Hopefully he does get the winning goal right there. If you guys don't know what I did right there, see, that is a reason why Yaya in the midfield is great because uh, his work rates make him push up a bit more than Bakayoko, which is the person I took out, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, um, because he will get into those positions to head the ball, which is great. And... Uh, so what I did right there is I just created some space for myself with Gareth. I waited it out until someone made a run because I had Willian in the box. I had Son in the box. And Willian is probably not the player I want to be trying to head a goal in with. 
So I waited for someone. I tried to hit Hyung Ming San. Yo Aitori came out of nowhere. And I just held LB and uh, held X to the full power. And it automatically swings it to the back post, no matter how much power you put. And it's just one of those OP tactics, uh, which is a, or OP corner or OP crossing techniques that we've had in the game uh, for a while now. And people just don't seem to use it that much. And it's something I used all the time when I still had uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. And I, I used to play a 4-4-2, matter of fact. Uh, with Rui Costa and Willian on the wings, and then Cristiano and Gareth Bale in the as the two strikers in the 4-4-2, I always used to just cross it to them, and it was they scored the most ridiculous goals from that OP, uh, core uh, OP crossing thing, uh, which was great. But we do get it out. Roberto Carlos is going to try and get the ball. Can he do anything? Why now them to Petit Petit? He's trying to find some space. Finds Bachuay. Bachuay is going to find some space down the right hand side. Finds Del Piero inside the box. Del Piero is going to cut it back. Virgil van Dijk, great interception. Rui Costa is going to get the ball right here. Will on to Rui Costa once again. Rui Costa going to find some space inside. Sees Hyung Ming San making a run. Hyung Ming San. Can he find someone? There we go. Yaya Toure. To Fernandinho. Fernandinho is going to find Rui Costa down the left hand side. Rui Costa is going to swing it back to the back post. Can he find Yaya Toure? No, he cannot as he does go ahead and mistime that cross. Bachuai right here. If you guys like my commentating, let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is bad. This is a problem. Sherla is going to try and find Bachuai. Bachuai finds himself in some space, but he does find Roberto Carlos. Once again, Sherla! Van der Sar, Edwin Van der Sar, the Manchester United ex-goalkeeper. Great save to keep his team in the game, I think. Did he make a save, or was it like a deflection or something? I, I don't know, but nonetheless, we have a um, a free kick. Yeah, yeah. We have five minutes left in this game. We're just going to try and kill it off right here. Rui Costa to Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Yaya is going to find some space into Son. Son tries to play it back, but he cannot. So he does fail the pass. I'm just trying to close off the game. I, I really don't want to. Oh, no. Yes, Rui Costa. Oh, sh shoot. See, that's a problem. Go on. Go on, lads. I see the pass. Oh, that, that, that was to Willian, dude. Please, please rewind that and tell me if you saw the pass to Willian because he was making a clean run through. And that would have been a goal. That should have been an interception from Willian, too. Oh, Ronaldinho gets the ball somehow. There we go, guys. We do finish off the game four, four to three. There we go. Son, Hyung Ming Son hat trick live right now, and then we get the fourth goal, the winning goal by Yaya Toure. So Yaya Toure for birthday card, in my opinion, overall, he's he. Excuse me. Hello. Is this a, is it, why not, did why not them touch that? Okay, so it hit Yaya's head. But to hit Yaya's head, it had to go through Wijnaldum's head, which may, means that Wijnaldum somehow gets the goal. But overall, I feel like if Yaya would have gotten that goal, he would have gotten the highest rated uh, player in the mid, in, in the, in the whole team apart from Son. Uh, but yeah, great performance from Yaya. I really, I really did enjoy him. His tackles are great. His interceptions aren't too great. His, uh, speed on the ball and off the ball isn't that great either. Uh, but in my opinion, he's just a fun player to play with, you know? I really did enjoy him. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys are gonna go ahead and try out Yaya Tori, the loan card, or get the actual foot birthday card, I'm gonna try and do that, um, in the challenges and all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'll see you guys next video. Have a nice day. And I'm out.